Okay, I'm going to keep the show going right along because we have a few more fabulous comedians. You guys ready for more? <laughs> Give it up for the fiery, garbage, funny Matthew Gossin! All right, everybody, settle down. <laughs> Get class started in a minute. Welcome to Oceanography 101. <laughs> Don't I look like that professor that you got stoned with? <laughs> or some guy in the back going, uh, shouldn't you be writing the last Game of Thrones book? We are <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I'm married to a woman from Spain. We've been married almost 24 years. Coming <laughs> should actually be for her. She only has to see me naked. So. <laughs> Early in our marriage, uh, I used to get out of the shower naked and present myself. Behold! <laughs> now when I do it, it's like, beware! <laughs> I was uh, visiting my mom out in Palm Springs, and uh, we were going to have lunch, and I heard there was something on, going on in town called the um, International Bear Conference. And so I like bears, so I went, went to check it out. <laughs> Turns out I'm the bear. <laughs> a daddy bear, to be specific. <laughs> a bottom daddy bear, too. <laughs> getting a lot of attention. People were whistling me on the street. I, I, that's never happened to me before. It was amazing. <laughs> Making new friends, meeting new people. Handshakes turn into hand jobs. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. <laughs> My grandmother, she taught me always, you know, got to finish when you start. So I just want to honor her by doing that. <laughs> Full-blown atheist. All right? I'm an agnostic, so you know, I guess I'm the optimist in the family. <laughs> and um, our kids, you know, either they are completely doomed, or uh, or they're free to think for themselves. You know, we're 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 not sure yet. Maybe we'll find out. But they won't. <laughs> um, any married couples here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you married? 22 years. Oh, you're already in the acceptance phase like us. I want to talk to you about something. You might want to write this down. This is called the uh, four flatulent phases of marriage. <laughs> this is what I've discovered over the years. It starts with the secretive phase, right? I mean, the idea is that, you know, you don't want to, you don't want her to smell it. And she doesn't want you to smell it. So what you do is, you, as a gentleman, you, you get up and you leave the room. And, you know, she, of course, you know, holds it in. Um, <laughs> But soon you move on to uh, what I call the discovery phase. <laughs> My wife's from Spain, so you know I learned about some European varieties. <laughs> I learned about the Andalusian air biscuit, <laughs> Barcelona cheek squeaker. There was the uh, Lisbon floater, <laughs> Pamplona power puff. <laughs> Don't want to mess with that one. Uh, she got to learn my sort of California varieties, and from here, uh, I was able to offer up things like the uh, Frisco Fecal Fire, <laughs> Glendale Grundle Rumble, <laughs> Van Nuys Surprise, <laughs> or the NoHo Uh Oh, <laughs> which often requires cleanup. <laughs> so after you know, it's. Uh, Mystery is over. Now it's time to move into the anger phase, right? The anger phase. You know what I'm talking about. It's war. You, this is when you fart on each other on purpose. Like, she'll be on her way out to work, and I'm eating breakfast, and she just gives me like a crop duster. Hasta luego, mi amor. Enjoy your breakfast. Anyway, you know. After, after, you know, that acceptance phase kicks in because you can't really do this much longer. And when you're in the acceptance phase, you don't even acknowledge them anymore. Why bother? It just happens. And at this point in our marriage, um, we finish each other's farts. <laughs> and that's love. Thank you very much.